Now these Uzis, they are dirt cheap in the streets right now. You want what? You reach out to Rondo, he'll hook you up. You want that new location at the new West Bottom area? You reach out to Shay. My nigga, I don't think you understand that shit's getting real. I need motherfuckers to step the fuck up. And I need more niggas at the fucking stash house. I mean, you did give us more weight, right? Yes, and I understand your frustration. But we have to hit them hard. City of Kings, behind the scenes with Carlos. What's up with it, bro? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing good, man. We just shot this scene, man. You know, tell the people where we at, and you know, say what you do. We at the Real Deal Detailer Shop here, on, located on 23rd in Maywood. I do detailing for a living, and you know, we're here for every other opportunity. Man, hey, tell them a little bit about the, you know, the shootout scene we had in here, man. Just right. give them a sneak peek. It was a good shootout scene, man. I enjoyed it, man. Uh, it looked real. And uh, they had a lot of people calling me like, what's going on down at the shop? So, you know, I'm waiting to see it on the live stream, you know? Hell yeah. So where can they reach you at? Instagram, phone number, anything, um, man. They can look up the Real Deal Detailing Shop on their search engine. And uh, you can call me at 816-519-5237. All right. Appreciate you. C O O. O O. Yeah, C double O, cuz. <laughs> I'm the cool. He's like the cool man. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ready? Yeah. So, Steve, what is your position in Blue Line Studios? My position in Blue Line Studios is I am the C O O. I'm also the project manager. Um, I help people go over the scripts. Sometimes I do sound, maintenance, whatever needs to be done, security, whatever. <clears throat> okay. What do you think about the City of Kings project? I think the project is going well. I can't wait to see till it's fully done. Everything's been going well. Um, we got a list of phenomenal actors and actresses. Um, we're getting great location. We got great staff going on at the moment. Everything's running pretty smooth. I like, I like how we're heading so far. Okay. Can you give us a little bit about your journey with Blue Life Studios? Uh, it's it's been a it's been a good journey so far. We had some ups and downs, some bumps and bruises, but we still here. You know, what I'm saying we making stronger moves in 2024. We got no choice but to strive forward and uh, give the people which I continue to want. You know, we do this for y'all in the city, and we just appreciate all the love that we get from y'all and the support. And uh, the journey's been great. You know, I'm looking forward to the future and see what this unfolds to. Right. Spiller, here we go. Salvador, que pasa? How estas? Ah. Tell me, how are the streets like in my brothers? Man, they loving it, bro. Which is, I wanted to talk to you. We was wondering, can we grab more weight? Right, so what's your name, bro? Chris. Unless you want the government, I can't give you that, though. Ah, uh, okay, okay. You know, so, uh, what's your role in, you know, Blue Line Studios and doing these projects right by now? Uh, just pro uh, part of the production crew, just helping out, getting in where I fit in, man. Just trying to be a part of something great. That's it. So. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, are you planning on donating any music? Because, you know, you know, you, you did Boom Dab, so, you know. I mean, I already, I think I, I donated to the, uh, what is that, the podcast. Might as well call it a donation. So, yeah, I'm always donate. No problem. All right, all right. So, uh, how do you see the series going, you know, as far as in, like, you know, uh, good guys, bad guys, crime dramas, you know what I'm saying, that type of stuff, you know, how you think it's going to play out, you know? Uh, I mean, I, it's, it's too soon to say, you know, so... I'm just watching right now, observing everything, trying to, we trying to get some work done, so, it, but it's too soon to say. Who's your favorite character in City of Kings? Uh, uh, it's the, the cop, the detective, the, the big guy, I forgot his name, is it Maurice? Uh, yeah, Maurice. Yeah, right. so Detective he. Detective Robertson. Yeah, Detective Robertson, he pretty funny, man, he get real disrespectful, so. So, uh, what's, so what's his, like, the favorite, 
I don't know, the, your favorite scene with him in it, you know what I'm saying, or something he said that was funny, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> kind of, you know, let the viewers. Man, I mean, the, the episode obviously ain't out. It'd be a while before y'all seen it, but it was the scene when we was at the car shop and he was talking about the cars that, uh, the car sitting on the parking lot, talking, being disrespectful, kicking, can throwing his trash on the parking lot, just, dude got real disrespectful, man. I wouldn't have tolerated that, but hey. But it was just funny, man, that whole scene. So, you know, how, how long you been with Blue Line Studios, you know? Uh, I mean, I mean, kind of just supporting them since the beginning, but working probably in the past year or not, three years because of the podcast. So we was doing a podcast for what, what about a couple years? And then just, I've been on the production crew since then, for real, so about three years. What more do you want to see with, you know, the, the type of projects that we put now? Hmm. I mean... Like horror, you know, romantic films. I thought about a horror, but nah, some more dramas, some more comedies for sure, and some more thrillers and dramas, you know? So I like good storylines. So that's pretty much it. So, I mean, you can see, like, you know, more like Tubi movie type of drama or... Man. Or what type of comedy, you know what I'm saying? Like... I ain't, it, it ain't even about Tubi movie. I watch movies on YouTube, so it's more about if it got a good storyline, and I, I'm into it, a good drama, thriller, something to get me excited, you know what I'm saying? Change my mood through the movie here and there. That's what I want to see. Okay, so if you were to sum up, like, the series itself, what would you compare it to? Like, you know, Power, you know, Snowfall, uh, it's 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 too soon to say, but I would be compared to Power though, just because of how the the guns, drugs, you know, the 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 guns and drugs, gangster stuff, you know, taking over territory. That's that's how it goes, you know. It's been like that for years and years, so everybody getting in where they fit in as far as the real life. I'm talking about reality, you know what I'm saying? So. All right, so I right, tell them where they can find you at. Uh, Contrail for show on Instagram and Facebook, YouTube, and that's where I'm at.